Today we're gonna make a delicious Tuscan white bean soup with roasted garlic. I hope the taste tester's gonna like it. I think he will. I think I've made this for him maybe a year ago. I'm, I'm not positive. Here's all those ingredients. Let's get into it right now. All right, guys, I always like to go over the ingredients. It makes it really easy for you. It makes it easy for me also to show you. Right here, I have one bag of beans that I soaked overnight or more like this morning, and they're not exactly soft enough yet, so we might have to cook them just a tiny bit more than normal. If you do use dried beans, you're better off soaking them overnight. Like the day before, just put them in a big pot of water, let them go, and then they'll be fine the next day. Written recipe calls for less carrot, celery, and onion than this, but I felt like more today. It looks like about one and a half cups of each. If you wanna follow the recipe exactly, it's four ribs of celery, it's three medium carrots, and it's one medium onion. We have six cups of chicken stock. If it turns out to be a little thick at the end, you could just add a little bit more, but six cups is a good amount to start with. I'm using chicken base that I mixed up. I use that all the time, guys. I absolutely love it. We also have pancetta, about four ounces that I sliced. You're better off putting it in the freezer. You could tell in, when I was slicing it how hard it was. You're gonna need a really sharp knife if it's been sitting out for a while. I have two sprigs of rosemary here that I wish were in better shape. That one's not so good. And then I have two little bay leaves. So if you have one big bay leaf, that would be fine. I have Parmigiano Reggiano rind that you guys know I use these in soups all the time. If you don't have one, that's okay. Just, you know, use some more grated cheese at the end, which I'm gonna use anyway. And then I have crushed red pepper and extra virgin olive oil here. Got a nice loaf of bread. The only thing that I'm not showing you here is that roasted garlic. Roasted garlic takes about 30 to 45 minutes at 350 degrees. Just, just wrap it like I did in foil. And then we're gonna squeeze that right into the soup. I'm gonna use my Dutch oven. This is a six and a half quart. You can use any pot you want here for this soup. Okay, so we're gonna heat this to medium low heat about maybe a four out of 10. And I'm gonna put in a quarter cup of olive oil in here. And we're also gonna add the pancetta, which is gonna release a lot of fat too. But we want a lot of that oil and the pancetta fat in our soup. It's gonna give it a lot of flavor. Let's get our pancetta in. And I'm just gonna move this around, get it kind of spread out in the pot. And we're gonna cook this until it renders most of its fat. It'll probably take about 10 minutes on this heat level, which is a four out of 10 for that to happen. Roasted garlic is done. I had it in the oven for 35 minutes at 350 degrees. It's nice and golden, very soft. All right, it's been about two minutes in here. All right, there's still a lot of fat on there, so I'm gonna keep cooking it. So that's looking a lot better now, you see that? And we will get our vegetables in. We got a lot of vegetables going into the pot, but if you guys know, if you make a lot of soups and stuff, that will turn into a lot less in a couple minutes. So let's coat these veggies with all of that olive oil and the pancetta fat. If you want to make a vegetarian version of this, obviously don't use the pancetta and don't use the Parmigiano Reggiano rind that I'm going to put in or, and don't use the chicken stock. So you would use vegetable stock. You could, you know, the roasted garlic is still going to give you a great flavor. And then, you know, you're just using olive oil. This is just a really good soup. I think of this soup kind of like pasta bazool without pasta. Okay, these veggies are have gone for about 10 minutes. They're fairly soft. I'm not gonna go crazy with getting them super soft now because I know my beans, because they're not quite soft. They're gonna take a little bit longer than normal. I am going to put in about a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. If you don't like any of these, by all means, do not use them. And I'm just gonna let them cook in the oil for about 15 to 30 seconds. That's 15 to 30 seconds. We have six cups of chicken stock. I'm gonna put that in. This is one pound of beans. Let's put in our rosemary and our bay leaf, or bay leaves because they're tiny. And then here is our Parmigiano Reggiano rind. Okay, let's get that in as well. This is gonna give great flavor to this wonderful, easy soup to make. And the last thing, don't forget about the roasted garlic. See that? and just squeeze all the pieces in. And if you want, take a bite of 
a little bit because it's so delicious. Now you could just put them on a cutting board and you can use a knife and really mash it up well, or you could just let it cook in here like I'm going to do. I'm just gonna mash it into the side of the pot when I mash my beans later and it's all gonna, it's all gonna dissipate. And it's nice to have a little texture if somebody gets like a nice piece because the roasted garlic, you can eat the whole thing by itself. So let's bring this to a boil. We are at a roaring boil. We're gonna lower this now down to a simmer. I'm gonna let this cook now until the beans get soft. If you have properly soaked beans overnight, it's only gonna take about 20 to 30 minutes to be nice and soft. It's been about 15 minutes. My beans are a little too hard, so it's gonna take a little bit longer for me to make the soup than if you made them soft overnight. So grab one right there. They're, they're not too bad, but we'll try one out here. It's getting softer, but they're gonna need another 15 to 30 minutes. Those beans took a little bit longer than I wanted to to get soft. I already removed the two rosemary stems. Uh, all the leaves fell off of it. And now remove your bay leaf and your Parmigiano rind you can remove. You can leave it in there too, but we're gonna, I'm gonna use the immersion blender. So it, it, whatever, it's, I'm not gonna hit that. If you don't have one of these, you can use a regular blender. Just take like a cup, do it, blend it, put it in, mix it through. If you want it thicker, then do another cup. That's, that's really all you have to do. Um, if you don't want to do this and you want to keep it fairly rustic, just take like here and just see how I'm mashing the beans and they're turning soft right when I do it. You know, they turn to mush and when you, when you mash the beans, they're gonna, it's gonna thicken the soup up a lot. Okay, I'm just gonna pulse it. When you use one of these things, just keep it all the way at the bottom. Don't worry, nothing's gonna happen in your Dutch oven because this is like a guard for it. The blade's not gonna hit it. That definitely did a lot. You can see right where I did it. See how that is? Okay, but let's mix it through and see if we got the, enough of a creamy texture. If not, we'll just go back again. Just don't go overboard with it. Or, or if you want to, you can. You can have, I mean, you can puree the whole thing if you want. If you wanna go that route, just remove your rind and and just put it all in a blender. I know it's probably not gonna need any extra salt. It doesn't. It's delicious, so good. Love that rosemary flavor. It does need some pepper. Mix that through and uh, let's serve a bowl up and we got some crusty bread too for it. Got the dual taste testers again. I love when they're both here doing this. You've had this in the past, James, I think. I don't remember. Okay, so that's good. That's even better. Not gonna color his opinion at all right now. Why don't you take a taste? And I gave you a piece of bread too. Well, the bread is good. Same with the soup. Nice. Feeling good about this Michael one. I have olive oil in it. I put, uh, yeah, I, I put some on for you. Yeah. Mommy, you wanna try? Yeah. Yours is hotter. I think they both like it and not hearing any uh, any complaints yet. I don't have any complaints about <laughs> <coughs> You okay? Yeah. Wanna give it a rating, James? Here's your pen and your card. I won't look. I'm not looking. This is hard. So are we gonna flip them over right now or should we, or should you talk about it first? What, how do we normally do this? I think we talk about it first. Talk about it first? Then, okay. So I don't have any complaints about this, but it's not, it's like not, it's like not the best soup you've made. The best soup you've made is a Italian wedding soup. It's not like it's bad at all. There's nothing bad about it. It's just that. Is there anything good about it? Yeah. I like the olive oil in it a lot. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that is, I just put that on at the end. What about the soup itself that I made? Um, the beans are like, they have a good bean texture. Like they have that right consistency. Thanks buddy. The broth is good. Thanks. And I also like the rosemary. I love that too. Mama, what's your, what's your, what do you got? Okay, I really liked it. I. Really like the texture of the soup. Thank you for blending it. Yep. That's the way I like it. Um, in fact, I would even like it even creamier. Oh yeah. Not, yeah, but I think it's really good. Um, the other thing is that I 
I want it like a little bit more of the roasted garlic flavor. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, like I didn't even know the but other than other than that, like that's my only. Okay, I did one whole head, but I probably could have squeezed a little bit more yeah. of the garlic out of it. Yeah. Uh, would, you could use two heads if you want, guys. I would I would go more like more heavy on the garlic, but you know I love the the rosemary in it and the texture and overall I think it's just really really good. What? Let's let's have it. So, I didn't really think it deserved a nine. But Really, really close. So I give it eight and ninety nine one hundreds. Eight and ninety nine one hundreds. Okay, I'll make I'll make <laughs> I'm rounding up to a nine. I gave you Ooh, a nice. nine and a half because I I took off the half point because yeah you can't yeah I wanted more garlic but I, like other than that it's perfect. I mean I, when I judge this I'm not really judging this versus your other suits. I'm yeah. judging it as an entity unto itself. Thank you. I prefer you do that. Unlike unlike him. Um. Anyway, thanks for the 8.99. <laughs> We're gonna be doing short rib taste testing next. Uh, you guys won't see that unless you watch that video, but I don't know if this one's coming out first or last. Well, you, you ate the whole bowl. 